Okay, so disclaimer, if you've never worked with electricity, don't do it. Don't work on it. Don't do anything. Don't do this at home. actually have a project that we need to get done today that way Gladys will stop hurting herself okay in someone's infinite wisdom refrigerator wall hallway this is where they put the switches for the lights in the kitchen dining room all right so as you can see my hand doesn't fit in there that way this is only about two inches that way our refrigerator isn't sticking way out into the kitchen <clears throat> i put my hand in there to flip the switches this way and every so often <laughs> when we're doing that we're also walking and what happens is your hand will get stuck in there um, I've done it a few times. Gladys has done it a few times. And it hurts. You'll get bruises. <laughs> so what we plan to do is to move this light switch to this side of the wall. Okay, so disclaimer. If you've never worked with electricity, don't do it. Don't work on it. Don't do anything. Don't do this at home. So don't follow exactly what I'm doing. I know what I am doing. I've dealt with electricity before. I'm an electronics technician currently. I have dealt with electricity throughout the Navy for several, several years. I have the equipment. I have the knowledge. All right, so it's a little windy outside. You can see beautiful weather, but it's windy, high traffic. So I actually need to come out to the shop. <laughs> dirty shop i need to clean i know uh, and we need to get the equipment uh, to get this going so let's find what we need All right, so I do keep a, a box of just random electrical stuff. Uh, we did at one point buy everything we needed for this project. I don't know if I've used it elsewhere or whatnot, but I'm gonna look in here, see if it's here. If I don't have what I need, then we'll go to the store. I have a single box, but I need a double box. I might be able to reuse the other one. Alright, so to get started, I got to verify that the power is turned off. So you'll turn your light switches on, then you'll click off your breaker, which I already have mine labeled. Uh, I went through this whole thing uh, since we've lived here. It even turned off this light because it's the back of the house is all in the same circuit. All right, so at this point, I always like to double check, uh, verify that there's no power present. Uh, normally I would be using a meter like this. I can just stick up here to see if it, it beeps at me. It lets me know if there's power present. Um, I don't have batteries for that currently, so I'm gonna be going to my fluke, which this one, it, it's just a little harder because I actually have to stick the, the meters in here to verify there's no power on the side. Not zero. Not zero. All right, so we're safe to work. 
All right, so I'm gonna start off by actually disconnecting and uh, taking these uh, switches out. All right, so to make my life simpler, so I know which one goes to which light, I'm gonna put a piece of tape over the wires going to the dining room. That way I don't get them mixed up later. All right, so this box is actually the type that has the little lugs on it. It's where all you have to do is have a, a hole in your drywall, and then the lugs will go and tighten itself to the drywall. It's not attached to a stud. Um, it's awesome because I should be able to reuse, reuse this box on the other side. Okay, so that whole adage of measure twice, cut once. Uh, if you can notice, this hole's bigger than that hole. <laughs> uh, hey, it happens. I had the box sitting vertically whenever I f was first measuring that how wide to cut. When it actually needs to be sitting this way. So, as you know, this one has that little tab that holds on to the sheetrock. Well, it's not gonna be able to hold on to the sheetrock on that side, but I do have a stud here. I'll be able to use a tab on the bottom and then screw into the sheetrock on this side, which the, the cover still covers the whole thing so I'm not too worried about that and then I have wood that I'm going to screw in onto the other side that way I can have the blank off plate screw into the the wood on the other side So I'll get longer screws to put that other uh, cover on the other side, but I got the one with the tape on it. So I know this is the dining room. I want the dining room switch to be on the right because it's on the right and the kitchen one to be on the left because it's on the left as you're looking at the switches. And since I made the hole a little too big, I'm gonna utilize a screw to screw into that stud and then still utilize the tab, <coughs> excuse me, on the bottom but I need to get these wires put back through the tabs. All right, so for your switch, you put your ground for the green. Now for this one, it doesn't really matter where you connect the white or the black because it's just a switch, all right? You do want to put your loops over your screw. So it's, it's kind of going in a clockwise fashion. So whenever you're tightening down your screw, it's going to cause that loop to to tighten onto itself instead of loosening. And then I also like to take some electrical tape. They didn't do it uh, previously, but just go
around at least once. All right, so there we go. I can actually see a little bit of the hole. Uh, that just goes with, uh, I didn't measure twice and only cut once, but <laughs> that's all right. Uh, I do believe that this is just a, a standard um, large plate or just standard plate. And I, knew, I know that they do make the oversized plates um, that I will try to see if it will cover that up. Uh, if not, then I guess I'll go to back to the drawing board and I'll make my own. All right, so. Now it's time to turn on power. So that's pretty much the, the end of this one. Works great. No more bruises. No more having to shove our hands back behind the refrigerator. All right. Definitely uh, thank you all for following along on this one. Just remember, if you don't know how to work with electricity, don't do it. Hire a professional. And uh, we'll see you all next one. Bye-bye now.